Shall I just quit as a composer now? <laughs> it's so easy. Let's change this chord progression. Hello, Logic Pro 11 is finally here, and if you own Logic Pro X, it's actually a free update, which is very unlike Apple. Um, but it's not a massive overhaul of the application, a couple of little tweaks, uh, you know, rounding off some corners. I think the main things that they're really going for this is the AI elements, you know, some new additions to the session players. We have the drums, absolutely love them, use them in a ton of my tracks to at least get a bass, um, but they've added a bass player, they've added a keyboard player as well, and we're messing around with those in the video. Uh, they've also added what well, you can see on the screen, a few little things, I'll leave a link in the description to this document so you can read it for yourself, but Chroma Glow, which is a saturation-based plugin, uh, extract stems from an audio region with stem splitter, which is a really cool feature, um, some Adobe Atmosphere enhancements and other little bits and bobs, new producer packs, that's a cool addition as well. Although I have a big bugbear with this update. If you have an Intel MacBook or Mac, like I do, uh, 2019, it was the best of its time, cost me three grand. I cannot utilize all these features. I cannot utilize the Chroma Glow, which is the rich saturation. I cannot use the stem splitter. Even though my video editing software, DaVinci Resolve 19, does do that. So my video editing software can do something that now my DAW cannot do with audio, which is a little bit crazy. It's completely possible for that sort of thing to work on an Intel-based Mac, but Apple have chosen to handicap us because we've got all the chips <laughs> and not their own dedicated chip, which is really annoying. And I'm not buying a, a MacBook M4, I think it is now, until this baby dies because it cost me three grand and nobody has three grand lying around. Anyway, that's my main bugbear. But the cool thing that I'm going to utilize the most, I really feel, is the session of players. I absolutely love the drum kit. I use it so much. And so the addition of the bass player and the keyboard player is really cool. And not only that, the way it utilizes this new global chord thing, you don't even need to understand musical chord progressions really to create music. Um, but it will come at a cost, well, I say cost, of space on your computer. I think it was an extra like 12 gigabyte, which isn't much. Although if you have the 128 gigabyte MacBook, no, don't buy that one. <laughs> anyway, let's get into Logic Pro X and kind of show you what you can do with this new update. So this is, I've literally just opened a project. This is the window you're greeted with. Very familiar with it probably, but now we have a bass player and a keyboard player. The drum is also being updated as well. You can see how many drum kits we have here. A bass player, you've got a couple of different styles there as well, which you can see, keyboard player. Uh, it just kind of determines how it, it's played, whether it's broken freely, lock chords, arpeggiated. So this one I feel might get a little bit samey, but we'll experiment and see what we can do. And then you can use the default chord progressions when it's created, which when we press create, we'll start with the keyboard player and that will load the chords. You can see right at the top there, we have some chords right up here. And if we drop down, you can see this chord region. Now, if I click on that, if I click over that first, click right click, we can change the chord progression. You don't even need to understand what these mean. You can just click, listen, and see what sounds great. You can of course create your own chords as well within it. If you right click on your region, you can actually get this to either follow it down here. You can either follow the global chord track. So that will follow that one at the top. If you have all three, the drums, the bass, maybe another keyboard, they will all follow this. Although I don't really think it matters with the drums. Um, if you don't want it to region there, we're going to have it follow. It's really easy to create more chords, create a chord there. You can either hand pick it yourself. They've really gone like bass note as well cool uh, or again we'll drag that slightly there right click on it and we'll pick a chord progression but now this does mean it really matters what key your project is in if you don't know how you can see that there's a nice easy way i always have my custom panel open but we can customize the control panel and its key signature uh, right there that's the one you'll need at the top 
I like composing in D major, so we're going to change it to D major and it'll ask me to transpose the chords. And now my chords are transposed. But I really like this new window. I kind of missed the old one with the intensity and moving bits around. But now you've got the complexity and intensity on the side there. But they have gone way more into depth with the things that you can do. Full chords, movement is medium, style, simple, complex. You can change the style there. Left hand, right hand, uh, more detail, grace notes, feel, dynamics, humanizer. You can manually create patterns as well. So we just play this. So that's kind of the default. Maybe I want it to be a bit higher. So you can change where the hands are positioned. Steady eight. Moderate. Voicing, so much you can do. Movement, minimal range. Add more grace notes, make it more pushy. <laughs> and that's before we even just slide the complexity knob. So cool. Strip it right back. We can change that now to block chords if we want. So it's more a compliment. <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. Another cool thing you can really do, of course you can choose the pianos that they have right here. We can change this to a soft cinematic one. Or ivory wood. Or you can go in and pick your own piano. For example, what we got at the top, Vaults. Let's just go with uh, Crow Hills Vaults. This is a free piano. I, I'm probably going to want to turn off all these effects that they've added onto it. There we go. Let's change that now actually to... What else have they got? Arpeggiator? Arpeggiated. Ah. But when we do that, it changes the piano. So you're going to have to go in and change the piano if you click that. One mic. But it's cool to know that you don't have to stick with theirs. And if you really want to, at the end of your project, you can right click and convert them into MIDI right there. And so now that's just your standard MIDI with all the dynamics and everything you did there. And you can stick whatever instrument you want. It doesn't even have to be a piano. So that's cool to know too. Let's create a little piece very quickly. Let's have a look at these other ones as well. So we haven't looked at the bass yet. So we're going to go add bass player. We're just going to go pop song create. So now we've got our bass guitar. We'll turn the complexity down. Uh, move the keys. We're going to add a drummer. Software player SI. True. Uh, drummer, we'll go pop rock, why not? And you can see they've completely overhauled the UI for that. Not gonna lie, I will miss the old one. Um, do something like that. Update that a little bit. Let's do something a bit cooler. Some, add some dead notes, pick up hits. And then let's add a final one. I'm really curious as to how this will sound. Uh, another piano. This is the freer one, but I want the right hand. Sustains only. I want it to be an octave or quite high because I don't want it to clash too much with this piano. Complexity, intensity, movement, medium, let's go medium, fill complexity, grace notes, push, humanize it. Let's see how this sounds. Actually, we'll move that over there and we'll turn the complexity down to half on that first one.
Shall I just quit as a composer now? <laughs> How easy is that? You don't even need a music education to create that. And you can go in and probably tweak that more. And I bet if I gave this to my wife, or even my two-year-old child, <laughs> they could create something, something, anything. But wow, I'm, it's amazing. And this is, I feel just the beginning. I feel the drummer was just the beginning. This is the next step. What next? Strings, voice, like <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. We're soon going to have an entire orchestra with this sort of feature. Think of the music you could create. Are you even creating music? Is it just more AI? Who's writing music in this situation? This is absolutely amazing. And I know it's going to be handy for me when I have quick turnovers, especially with corporate music or, or library music. This, this is absolutely amazing. And of course you can utilize better sounds. I'm just wondering how samey it will sound. This is first impression, so give me a, maybe a couple months to see how I utilize this, or is it just a gimmick? But, well, that's how it's sounding. Now what happens if we use the AI mastering feature right here? It's, might as well add that on and see what difference that makes. Absolutely nuts. It's so easy. Let's change this chord progression. That's crazy. kind of speechless this is awesome this is so cool and i can't wait to see what happens next with this this is yeah logic pro 11 we're here it's gonna be hard not saying logic pro x I had a good ring to it but wow am i impressed with just this feature and it kind of dampens the annoyance of the fact that there's some features i can't use because i'm an intel mac user but we'll leave the video there if you've got logic pro x have a good play with this this is awesome Super excited about this feature, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.